In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how spanning tree protocol works. Now, I'm not going to go through all the details about spanning tree protocol because you can read about it through several blogs of mine on my website, homerama.com. Now, just as a reminder, spanning tree protocol prevents loops in a layer 2 topology by electing one switch to be the root bridge. And once the root bridge is elected, all other bridges must make a single path to the root bridge. Switches exchange information via bridge data bridge protocol data units or BPDUs to determine which switch will become the root bridge and correspondingly the best path to the root bridge and the ports that will be blocked. Now the root bridge is decided based on bridge ID and the bridge ID consists of device priority and MAC address of the switch. By default all switches have a priority of 32768 so if the priority has not been set manually the switch with the lowest MAC address will become the root bridge. So based on our diagram here, let's determine which, uh, which switch will be the root bridge. So looking at all the MAC addresses, you can see clearly that switch C has the lowest MAC address and will become the root bridge. Now, once we have that figured out, we can determine what the root ports and designated root ports will be. be. Now remember, the port on each switch with the best path to the root bridge is called the root port and the port on each switch that has the lowest cost to the root bridge via the root port is called the designated port. So let's see here. We know switch C is the root switch so switch A and D obviously are going to have root ports right here and right here. Switch C will obviously have two designated ports, one here and one here. And switch A will also have one designated port and switch D will also have one designated port. So what are we left with? Switch B. And we still haven't found the port that's going to be in blocking mode. Obviously, it's going to be on switch B, right? So in this case, with everything else being equal, the port, the highest port number will always be put into blocking mode. So we know this port right here will be blocked. This guy will be another root port. And now you can see how spanning tree protocol prevents a loop within the network.